Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. We back live, baby. We back live. We back live. You already know what time it is, man. Let's do some reactions real quick. Real quick. Uh, let's see. Where's my boy? We got to get into this, bro. We got to get into this, bro. We got to get into this, bro. <laughs> Why is his face like that? I have no idea. <laughs> Yo, it's my boy Speedy. Speedy's out here doing his thing, bro. Big queens. Queens get the money. So I'm going to react to my boy Speedy doing some. Oh, uh, he's interviewing Glorilla. Glow. Let's see how it goes. Dang, you see that leg tattoo? Sheesh. Try to see what that is, man. What's going on, guys? I'm Speedy, and the name of this show is 360 with Speedy. And today I am joined by Grammy nominated multi platinum recording artist Glorilla. Hey. Glow, what's up? How are you? Hey, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Why'd you say, How are you? <laughs> <laughs> how are you? How are you? Are you well? Are you good? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Of course, that's the first thing I noticed when you walked in. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. That's a boy. Risen up Glorilla. That's crazy. About to come out. Uh, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you optimistic? What do you, what's the emotion? Man, I should put my comfort on, right? I got to put my comfort on, bro. Where my comfort at? Hold on. I need comfort energy. Ugh. Come on, man. You know. You know what I mean? Big comf. Because it's comfy. You know what I mean? Sheesh. Let's check it out. I'm super excited. My anxiety through the roof. And I ain't even got no bad anxiety. Like, I'm just ready for it to come out. Like, I'm excited for everybody to hurt. You've been having a moment lately. I mean, uh, Yeah Glow, obviously, TGIF. Uh, the feature on Bop has been having a crazy moment on TikTok. Has it been fun for you the last like year or so? Yeah, it's been super fun. It's uh, it's like the engine just been in my back. Like, what's the name of this shit called? A jetpack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, it's like I've been on one of them, having one of them on. That's what it feels. Like. Your tattoos are fresh. It look like she just got them, bro. Like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Like I've been on one of them, having one of them on. That's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Do you ever get a moment to kind of just sit back and, you know, turn the jets off? Yeah, I hit that moment last year, and then when you get that moment, you get a little comfortable. I don't want it no more. <laughs> she like, hey, I had a sit down. I was chilling, and then I went to sleep, and then she was like, forget that. I'm done. I need to go back to getting it. Full steam ahead from now on. It's, it's gotta feel weird. You know how you, you know how you like, we you, you have a job and then like you get comfortable in it, and then you get promoted, and then you think about leaving that job and going back to like what you did before, but there wasn't paying you as much before. It's like mm, I don't think I ever wanna ever wanna do that again. Eh, hell no, bro. I'm staying here. I'm staying up. You just start living different. Sisters have the same middle name, Nicole. Right. But you're the only ones that's different. Your middle name is Hallelujah. Right. Did you always Hallelujah from your siblings? Did you always know? Do you think your parents knew, and that's why your middle name was different? My mama always say she marked me, but I ain't never feel you know I ain't never feel no special than none of the other kids who y'all was treated the same. It's just growing up, my mama had me near her like I was mm. like her right hand, but I ain't never just feel no type of Special or not. You never knew Hallelujah is a nice name. That's a cool, that's a cool, that's a cool name. Down that one day you'd go on to do incredible things. Like, you didn't feel that? 
I ain't feel it. I ain't know what I was gonna do. I knew I wanted to do something, but I never really knew what I was gonna do as a kid. I like cool different names like that, man. My my son name Vizzy, uh, my my son's name is Vision with a Z, and then my other my other son's name is uh, Legend. So I, I like you know different names like that. Hallelujah is nice. Are you doing things by yourself still, or is that era past you now that you're so famous that? Like what you mean? Like, are you able to go out and do things in the world? Like go to Walmart? Yeah, just like yeah, a regular person. Yeah, I go to person. Walmart. Do you? Do you? That's the only thing I do by myself. Go to Walmart. Do you disguise yourself in some crazy way or? When I do go, I always have a bunny and my glasses on, and sometimes I wear a mask. But in, in their Walmart, they never notice me. What's it like being able to just go to a Walmart and just vibe? Like I be a having a ball at Walmart. <laughs> like I love Walmart. What you be doing? We don't have Walmart here in New York, so like. I've only been to Damn, Walmart once in my whole real? entire life. What y'all yeah. got Target? Yeah, we got Target. But we Yo, New York. New York's Target is fire. The only Walmart we have. Damn, do we not have Walmart? No, the only Walmart we have, you got to go all the way to freaking, um, whatchamacallit, Long Island, I guess, to get to the Walmart. And that's like, it's a far drive. It, it's, it's all the way in like Green Acres. <laughs> I think we have a Walmart Green Acres. I think that's where it is. I think. We got a, we got a Walmart Green Acres? Something, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to go to Green Acres. Behind the Green Acres Mall, right next to Green Acres Mall is a big-ass Target. And then, like, further up is the Walmart. That shit is far. We just really have corner stores and supermarkets and stuff like that. Y'all ain't got Kroger's either, do we? Nah. We ain't got no Kroger. When I came, when I came to Atlanta... I was like, what What the heck is a Kroger? That's a, what is that, supermarket? Yeah, Kroger's is like um, Publix. We don't got that either. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when I came to Atlanta, bro, Publix got some delicious sandwiches, bro. I was like, yo, I didn't know. I never used to really buy sandwiches from supermarkets like that. Because it was like, you know, we got better sandwiches everywhere else. But... The public supermarket sandwiches, they hit. They hit hard. We got Stop and Shop. We got Associated. We got Met Food. Met Food oh, Associated. That's it? Yeah. We don't got none of the ones you just named. Y'all ain't got Kroger. Y'all ain't got Publix. No wow. Publix. Publix they got in Florida, though. I've seen that before. Yeah. But, but it's just like a grocery store. But in Walmart, I get in their car to sit down car. And I be speeding. <laughs> Those things do not go fast at all. You go fast enough for me. You be speeding. I be whipping that joint in. I know how to reverse it good and anything. Oh God. <laughs> Walmart. This the only thing I can do by my. I still don't do that by myself. My people be with me, but I go in there. But I don't go in no other stores. A lot of people thought it was over for you after F and F. And you completely beat those allegations. I mean, you dropped mm. some of the biggest records of your career. I, I I have not been following Glorilla's like come up, so this video is actually pretty interesting and educational. What does it feel like to have had people start to doubt you? Like, cause you came in the game and it was love, and then you had people start to doubt you, and then you proved them wrong. Does that feel good, or do you not even pay attention to that type of commentary? Oh, I pay attention to it. It feel good, actually. I love it. Like, it, it help you. Like, sometimes people need it. Like, because sometimes we get comfortable. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like, we need to hear people talk shit or criticism and shit. And so, it's <laughs> like, okay, I got to get back on my, you know what I'm saying, on my pee mm. and turn back up. Yeah. So, I actually liked it. It helped. It actually made me way better. Yeah. I remember hearing people on the internet being like, yeah, that was it. It was just that one record, you know, and, and, and it's over. Yeah, it was really out there. I think like after tomorrow or two and shit. Yeah. Yeah, they was like, I hear the Linsanity run. I don't even know what that mean. What they mean? Linsanity run? Okay. You don't know what Linsanity means? You talking about Lin, Lin from the New York Knicks? When he was on the Knicks? There was a player on the Knicks named Jeremy Lin. Okay. Yeah, and Jeremy Lin. He went on this crazy run where he had like 10 games in a row where he came out of nowhere and then was scoring like 30 points a game. And mm. one of those games was against your favorite player, Kobe. Yeah. And he even killed the Lakers. And then uh, it was just like a crazy run that we had never seen in sports history before. Mm -hmm. So people said that you had a Linsanity run? Yeah, they was like, RP. Yeah, Lynn. Jeremy Lin. Damn, y'all forgot about Jeremy Lin, bro. That's crazy. Yo, preseason basketball did just start, too. I might start doing videos on that. I'm only doing um, reactions to, like, uh, the football. 
because I love football. Number one, I love the NFL, and but I might I might start dabbling in the basketball world. Why not, bro? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not? I'm gonna try. I, I don't know if I get. It's a lot of work though. Like sometimes reacting to videos, like especially when you got kids and stuff, it's like damn, y'all. The editing and then the you know it's a lot. But I'm a, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try. Maybe when the season starts, I'll give it a go. I, I'll, I'll follow Bronny. Bronny James to see what his because I know there's gonna be crazy content around Bronny James. I think I'm gonna dive into that to that back too. And that's really I'm like oh, okay I'm gonna show that yeah because every time I love when people doubt me like I love to prove people wrong like all my my people my staff they know not to bet me because I don't if I know some you said they know not to to bet me not to, to bet, bet against me why because I if you I'm gonna win if I'm betting you I know for sure that. What I'm talking about is right. It's going to happen. Yeah. You know who I betted for the Super Bowl? Who? Oh. I betted uh, 42 Doug. Did you? He's a gambler. Now, 42 Doug is a gambler. Yeah. We've had, I, I, I've rocked with uh, Doug before. He liked to shoot dice. Mm -hmm. He's a big gambler. So I had betted 50 on the machine and I betted him 25. And so I won. And so he was like, nah, you cheated, you cheated. So the next day, or oh, I think a week after, I don't know, whenever All Star was, I had took his watch mm -hmm. and I had it for ransom. I said, whenever you give me my 25000 I'm going to give you your watch back. And did he give you yep. that 25000 <laughs> Oh, watch snap. Back, watch what watch did you take? She did with some expensive motherfucker. Was it an AC, <laughs> a Richard, a, it was a paddock? A, I think it was a paddy. Okay. Yeah, I think it was a, it was a gold paddy. And once you took that, he gave you that 25000 Uh-huh, it took him about another week. Yeah, because Super Bowl... Is a week before All Star, so yeah. Damn, he was about to not pay you. Good thing you took that uh -huh, watch. Uh huh. Took that watch. Smart. Very very <laughs> smart. I saw that Rihanna hit you up recently, and she was asking you uh, when your album is dropping. Wow. Uh, yeah. Did you tell her it's coming out on Friday? Uh no, I ain't got a chance to talk to her again about it. But uh, I'm gonna text her when it drops. I'm gonna be like, did you listen to it? You think she's? I mean, she was singing. The yeah, that's gotta be crazy. Rihanna hit you up talking about that. That's that's gotta be nuts. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of nuts. That's pretty dope. Uh, to ASAP Rocky, what, what's it like seeing, you know, Rihanna singing your records and then seeing her on your phone hit you up? Like, what is it like having someone like Rihanna? You gotta be feeling on cloud nine, nine thousand, bro. That's, it's crazy. Just a, a fan of your music. It was lit as fuck. Like when I saw it, I was at BT rehearsals and shit. And I was taking a break while the dancers were still going. And I just saw it pop up on my nerves feet. And I was <laughs> 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 laughing. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I'm sorry. Um, what you laughing at, man? Nah, it popped up on your what? On my nerves feet. Ah, uh, the, the old nerves feet. Okay. <laughs> I'm familiar with the nerves. I've heard of <laughs> Does she know, time does she, uh, does she know that you have her lyrics tattooed on your leg? Yo. Uh, whatever. What? I don't remember what Jordans these are, but I'm not a fan. I don't know why. I don't like these. I think it's the yellow bottoms, but. Does she? Uh, does she know that you have her lyrics tattooed on your leg? I don't know. I need to tell her, don't it? Of course. That's a big thing. And those sneakers are probably mad expensive. And they're probably like some classics, but yeah, I don't really like those Jordans. You know, that's, that's my uh, long glass sister. They say that y'all look alike. Yeah. That's my long glass sister. Do you feel like y'all look alike? Mm hmm. I see it. I see it too. Striking resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. They be hating on me. No, but I see people, it though. You do have a, a resemblance for sure. Uh, thank you. You met Beyonce a couple of times. Uh, does she have like that aura about her that people say that she has? What the great like, aura? Yeah, like when you get around her, is it like, oh shit, that's Beyonce, or is it now that you've met her a few times, just kind of like, oh Beyonce, hey, how are you? I don't think I'll probably never be like that. I probably got to meet her like five more times, and then I'm gonna be normal. Mm. Cause mm. I tweak out every time. I want to learn how to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, I think I'll feel that same way about like Kanye West or uh, maybe Kendrick. I nah Cole probably. I think Kanye West and Cole. I'll be like, I'll probably tweak out every time. And it's funny because Cole seems like a really chill, chill dude, but it's like, bruh, it's J Cole. You know what I mean? 
time I tweak out and I cry every time. Like, no. Yeah. Not like, in front of her. Yeah. You cry in her face? And I cry real bad. I be smiling and talking, but the tears just be watering up in my eyes and it just gets coming down. But I'll be crying real bad. It be tears of joy. Right. And yeah, I just do it every time. Like, I ain't got used to it yet. Because, you know, that's like my favorite artist of the, my whole lifetime. Like, mm. like my, the, that's the number one person I'm a fan of. Really? Yeah. And so now to know that that's someone who knows who you are, she let you in your dress, in her dressing room once before. Mm -hmm. uh, is that all crazy for you? Does it feel surreal? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, nah, this ain't real. Like, this ain't happening. Then when I go in there, she always so nice and welcoming and warm every time. That's a beautiful thing. She got a beautiful spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you once fainted during a tattoo session? Where were you getting all this shit from? You did your research, did it? Damn. Is that true? Yeah. What happened? Okay, so it was this one. Yeah, I was getting this tattoo on my hand. Uh -huh. On your hand? hand tattoo, this is probably one of the second worst spots, if not the first one, to get a tattoo with. Mm. So, I ain't gonna lie, I was drinking. And smoking, and I had a weight train on. Uh -huh. And so I sat there through the whole tattoo, and like during the like the last probably 45 minutes, I'm like, okay, I got to use the restroom. I stood up and just started walking, cause I actually had fell asleep, cause I was watching Bad Girls Club on my phone. And so I just stood up. I'm like, I got to use the restroom. And I stood up. I took two steps, and then I woke back up. They were giving me water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why Damn. Like, I get lightheaded a lot when I get tattooed. I want to get this whole sleeve right here, and it's going to be all uh, real estate from Avatar The Last Airbender. So, like, Ba Sing Se, uh, the Western Air Temple, Northern Air Temple, like, the, the, the Water Tribe. Like, it's going to be all of this. And then it should lead into, like, an arrow right here. But... That's crazy. So I shoot, I gotta get ready for that. So, Cause when I got this one, I got like hit. Cause I literally, I just got my dermals in my back, and I almost passed out when I got that too. You got what in your back? Dermals. What's that? Let me show you. The little, oh. the little person right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Yo. laughs> Speedy's face is like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> Hold on, bro. We on TV. We on TV. Wait a second. Dimples? Yeah. How did you say it? Dermals. It's dermals. That's the name of the period. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say. No, right. it looks great, though. I mean, Thank huge you. fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a dermal. Dermal. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. One of the first things you did after you really made it and got signed was got your teeth done. You got a beautiful, fresh set of veneers. Thank you. Um, what do you think about veneers now, though? I feel like now it's like a lot of people are getting them. Some people is like cutting corners and they don't look that great. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're scrolling the timeline, as someone who has a good set of veneers, what's your opinion on seeing other <laughs> veneers out there? I just feel like I'm glad my doctor did mine all right. <laughs> I be seeing a lot of them that look like the piano keys, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Mine's one perfect when I first got them done. Like, mm. I feel like mine was too big. Like, I got mine redone twice. Damn. Mm -hmm. the but, first. Well, I only got the top redid. The bottom, I ain't But what is veneers? Is is veneers fake teeth? Do they take your teeth out and then put them, put in like these plastic teeth so they don't get stained or something like that? Like, how the hell does that work? I gotta research that. Oh, they have a hand tattoo right here. Look. That's nice, man. I wonder what it means and what the uh what the art style originated from. It looks like something cultural in some country or something. Looks pretty cool. I gonna see this shit. But the top, I'm like, uh uh, cause it's like I start holding my mouth a certain type of way. You know like how you hold your mouth when it's big? <laughs> yeah. He like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you ain't never seen somebody with a big mouth and they mouth like, they like, like, they hold their mouth a certain okay, type of way. Maybe, maybe. Sure. They teeth too big. Yeah, that's how I was holding my mouth. And I used to see it on videos. I'm like, uh-uh, I got to get that redone. I don't think they look like piano keys. I just think they was too big. Yeah. But you got them done now. Yeah. What is like the... What what advice would you have for the veneer community out there? Like, do you not get them too white? Uh, how do you make sure they're the right size? Like, what things did you look for to make sure that your set was good? 
Um, I studied the doctors. I went to the doctor that looked like he do a lot of good natural teeth. Mm -hmm. And then, like, yeah, I ain't want mine too white or nothing like that. Yeah, people be getting them, like, white as a bitch. White, and it's like, all right, bro, that shit ain't. You got veneers or damn your teeth? I damn your teeth? No, what do you, this is veneers. For it? No, they not. No, they not. They ain't, ain't no way. <laughs> no way, bro, no way. Yeah. Why, they don't look like veneers? They look very natural. Thank you. Them not no damn veneers. No, I got a good doctor. That's what it was. <laughs> he capped it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 she, she, she like, nah, ain't no way, bro. Nah, nah, this is my routine. This is my routine. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't have a set of natural crew teeth. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you speak and people like comment? All the time. Is it annoying to you? Or are you are you used to it by now? I'm used to it now, but I just be like, dang, y'all really don't understand me. Like, it's like I speak Spanish or something. No, it, like, it's, it's definitely like an adjustment, for mm. sure. Expect, okay, because, like, most of us in here is born and raised in New Yorkers, so, like, we don't really hear people that sound like you very frequently. So when we do, it's like, wait, what word was that? <laughs> like, it's, it's kind of similar to the Baltimore accent. You ever heard somebody Fuck from no. Baltimore talk? Nah, but we don't sound like them. Why? What's wrong? You don't like the Baltimore accent? Uh, not really. To you, you like we don't do. You this. sound very the, okay. The Memphis accent and the Baltimore accent are very similar. To nah, me. it ain't. Uh -uh. Yeah, it's the U for the Baltimore, and you say your with an R. It's very <laughs> close. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> she like not even a little bit, dude. <laughs> not even a little bit. Every I've noticed though every every word that has like that U sound mm -hmm. is a word that you would say funny like <laughs> yeah like nurse feed. <laughs> Instead of like view, you would say view. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like instead of uh, what's the city in Texas called? Not Dallas, but San Antonio. No. No. Where the Rockets play? <laughs> Where Megan Thee Stallion is from? Houston. Yes. Yeah. How would you normally say that word? Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> what? How about the um? How about um the the old cartoon? It was on Nickelodeon, and it was um. It was a dog with the color, and it was like, oh, we found a clue. Blue's Clues. Yeah, oh, you said that normal. Yeah, we, we, we don't say everything with the U with the R. How do you just, like, how do you pick which words that you add that R in there? We don't pick it. It's just, like, natural. Like, the, I say the EW words, like. Okay. Like, something that got EW in it. Uh-huh. Or, like, the EW sound. Like, flu. No. Like flu don't got E W. Yeah, F L E W. Flu. Oh, not sick. Oh, flu. I thought he meant F L U, like when you get sick. Flu. English is so stupid, yo. English gotta be the dumbest language. Oh my! I love those videos when they when they expose English, and they be like, "Oh, this is heat," but then when you take out certain letters and add other ones. And it's not heat anymore. Like, oh, just right now, like flu and flu. You say flu the same way, F L U, or when you when you fly in the airplane, I flew to somewhere. That's F L E W. Like that's English is dumb. It's so dumb, bro. Type, you know the like, fru, <laughs> like a fru on, like in <laughs> Like that type of shit. <laughs> like, yo. damn EW word. Okay. But flu is, we flu say is flu. normal. Yeah. Yo, I'm crying, bro. Oh my <laughs> God. That is mad funny. Do you like the New York accent? <laughs> no. Why? What's wrong with that? Yo, she don't like no accent but her own. That's hilarious. It's so aggressive. You think? I'm not aggressive, though. Yo, this shit's tight, yo. Like, word to my mother. Yo, son. Give me one we don't say chops. tight. Tight will use like tight me mad like bro that got me tight that means like that got I, me mad see I thought that was some Cali shit my Cali trainer be see. saying tight like that yeah but, they be like ooh those shoes is tight I think I think that's like Cali or something like that oh, I thought that was New York nah tight me mad like, okay bro I'm sick I'm tight like oh yeah you be practicing your New York accent yeah like I'd be like yo I'm hungry shit yo. <laughs> <laughs> That does not sound like a New York. Yes, the heck? No way. We would say like y'all mad hungry. That's what we would say. We wouldn't say y'all hungry as shit. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's crazy. Really.
Yeah, yeah, I would say that too, but y'all do be like, I'm hungry. Shit, is yo. Your, your security guard is from New York? Yeah, he's from Brooklyn. Okay. So you be like... I be trying to fuck with him. <laughs> Does he really sound like a real New Yorker for real? What? <laughs> <laughs> Does he laugh at your accent as well? No, nah, he used to my accent. Okay. He know everything I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm like 70% there. Like, I get most of what you're saying, but then there's that 30. I'm like, yeah. what did she say? Yeah, see, if you be around me enough, you'll, you'll understand. start to pick up on it. Yeah. I saw that you and Kai Sinat took a picture together. You guys you guys are friends again. We never was beefing. Kai. It was a joke. Okay. Did the internet just kind of take it and run with yeah, it? Yeah, they always, I don't know. I missed that whole thing. I be following Kai, but, like, I had no idea this was, like, a thing. Why they do that? They take I remember he had, like, beef with Kanye West. But, yeah, I, I, I haven't known about anything about that. They do that shit all the time. Like, I be, I guess people don't know I play a lot. Mm -hmm. And so, it's a lot of shit I say on the internet that people take me too serious about, and I be playing. So, mm -hmm. it never was no beef. Like, it was a joke the whole time. But the picture you took was funny. It was like you choking them out. Yeah. It was like, it was also a very playful looking vibe. You guys had a conversation. Did he think you were joking too, or did he think he was dead ass? He kind of thought I was dead ass a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh God, he kind of thought I was dead ass too. I'm like, no. It's all love though. Yeah, it's where, all love. Where was that at? Was that at Drewski's? Uh, yeah, at Drewski Fest. His could have been Fest. Could have been Fest. Yeah. Uh, what was that like? It was cool as hell. They was turning shit. You, you know did you perform or you was just there vibing? I had performed or TJF. Okay. When I went out the crowd, I was turned as fuck. Fire. I love that. Yeah. Um, you went on a 90 day abstinence thing? What? Is that right? It was 60. 60 day, yeah. 60 day. What made you like want to like lock in and, and and do like a 60 day celibacy thing? Mm. Yo, that stuff is pretty healthy for you right here. It went good. I went for, I ain't gonna lie, I went 56 days. Okay, that's impressive. Okay. What made you want to enter into that like challenge for yourself? Same shit, man. I be getting fucked up at these hoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really be getting fucked up on them? Yeah, I be fucked up at these hoes. I've heard you say you had one like real heartbreak yeah. in your life, and it kind of fucked you up. Yeah, that was the first. That's why, like, I don't never like. That's why I be so hard now. Like, even the little stuff I be doing now, it don't be like too heavy. Like, I don't give too much fucks about it. Mm -hmm. But the first one, like, I really was in love. Like. And I said, I ain't never doing that again. Mm. <laughs> you, was, you had no appetite, huh? Yeah. You couldn't even eat. Like, I said, I never want nobody to have that much power over me where I can't eat. Yeah. No. I be telling people, when you get to that... Yo, that's, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible state of mind, bro. Where somebody got you wrapped around their finger, bro, and they just, like, they be playing with you. Woo! Terrible, dude. It's crazy how you can like, you know, it's so powerful that it, alter, it alters your whole entire, your mood, your mindset. You're like, whoo, shit crazy. You just got to drink protein shakes and ensures. That's the only way. You don't way. even be wanting to drink it. I be having to force myself. And it's like, Wait, what? I had that much power over me where I can't eat. Yeah. No. I be telling people when you get to that, you just got to drink protein shakes and ensures. That's the only way. You don't way. even be wanting to drink it. I yeah. I force myself and it's like, what am I doing? I can't eat this shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't never want to A meal look delicious. You be like, bro, I'm not even hungry. Oh, God. It be like some shit that I know I love and I can't eat. You can't eat it. The only thing I can eat while I ain't got no appetite is applesauce for some reason. That's okay. all I can eat. And then drink liquor. Yo, one, yo, last time I got my heart broken, I was in the bed sleep for days, bro. Like, did not go outside. I was taking crazy amounts of PTO. Like, just crazy. Like, no eating, no drinking, not even playing a game, not even watching a movie. Just be like in bed, bro. Just like with yourself. Shit is, shit is crazy. No, no bueno. <laughs> time you were going through something where you was like damn i have no appetite right now i'm, I'm ain't hurt. been like this since that since that yeah. what happened did you get cheated on or what was it i never actually i never could catch the dude cheating on me at, like concrete i used to know it but i could never read it. it you couldn't prove yeah, it yeah i never could prove it yo that's crazy i yeah. <laughs> i had a co-worker who told me that like he was with his girl and this man was cheating cheating and he got away with a lot of it, but it's like the senses, like, she knew, bruh. 
she knew 100%, bro. Like, she was, like, doing little things that bothered him. Like, she didn't have no proof. But every time we hung out, he'd be like, damn, yo, she knows, bro. She didn't know when. She didn't know where. She didn't know how. She just knew it was done. And, like, dude was like, yo. <laughs> My coworker was like, bro, I think the jig is up. I don't know how, but the jig is up, bro. It's just like, yo spirituality and like all those senses and all those six senses and uh third eyes and whatever you can't hide it bro even if you try to hide it bro like shit crazy man and vice versa if the girl's cheating on a guy guy gonna be like yo why are you acting like that bro and it, and it, it don't even have to have to be anything they, they could literally be at like just eating. Just like, yo, you're holding your fork different, bro. Why are you holding your fork different? Like, you cheating. <laughs> Break up and like, because I'm used to, like, I used to be used to sleep on him. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I used to always, like, put him out of stuff. And then, yeah, I just not have no appetite. Because I just loved him so much. Yeah. Like, I didn't know that shit was that strong. I didn't know that shit could take over you like that. Mm. So that's why I got a song on my album. It's called Glow's Prayer. I'm praying to God. Like, God, please don't ever let me do that again. Mm. I'm loving it? Mm -hmm. No, but love is a beautiful thing. When you it's know? done, right? Yeah. It, it, you know, love got highs and lows. You just got to try to stay on the high or in the middle. But never go down to that low. Man. Because then you ain't never going to eat again. Never. Five. It takes so long to get that appetite all the way back. I honestly think men is this program to cheat like i don't think they really what crazy. that's they crazy hurting out your feelings like they really just can't help it like i really think men can't help the self, they self with cheating i really think they can love you and cheat though do you feel like there are no faithful men left i feel like in certain parts of the world it is <laughs> but not in america i mean i feel like it's some in america not the one i feel like the ones i like is none <laughs> So I need to change my type. <laughs> What's your type now? <laughs> I mean, you know, my type. <laughs> okay, and what do you really try to like start to like? I'm trying now. Like I'm really trying not to like. I don't want nothing right now. Like right now, I'm, I'm on some me shit. I'm mm -hmm. on, trying to be 100 focused. But then when I start back. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to none of the type of dudes I be t normally talking to. Okay. You're going to start fresh with mm -hmm. a whole new set of likes and interests? Like, yeah. What, what, what are you thinking about trying out? Like, what? Like, maybe some lawyers or something. Some lawyers? Okay. That's crazy. Some bankers? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Like, like a nice white collar job, like a lawyer, banker. Mm hmm. All right. But they ain't shit either, though. Nobody <laughs> shit. I don't like. I don't know what I want. It's just I'm at this point. I'm just waiting on God to show me. I feel like that's random as hell. <laughs> Bankers and lawyers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she just, yeah. She just rolling dice on that response right there. But that's. I mean, that's good. Yeah, just wait. You know, just shit, just wait for something to happen. Yeah, it seems like something happening right now. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Speedy might have a chance. It's crazy. I always say there's probably like there's probably like ten like good men left. And this is me and all of my friends. <laughs> like, we're like the only ones Jeez, left. You got some dreadhead friends? Oh, uh, I'm from New York. We don't really have that many dreadhead friends. For real? No, not many. But I could tell one of my men to grow it out. And like maybe. Yeah. Maybe I could make something happen for you. <laughs> I could make something happen. <laughs> do that for me. I got you. Don't worry. Uh, a quick Google search says that your net worth is $2 million. Is that accurate? <laughs> he always asks this question, yo. It's bad funny. We always thinking ain't no people net worth. <laughs> everybody has a net worth, and we ask every person that comes on the show. Sometimes their net worth is way off. Sometimes it's way lower than it actually is. Like, is yours? So what is net worth exactly calculated off of? What you done bought? No. So your net worth means <laughs> what is your assets minus your liabilities. Uh, shit. I need a pencil and paper. <laughs> like essentially essentially just means like what you got like every you know houses, what cars, you know whatever yeah like houses cars jewelry watches stocks this this and that minus like your debt that's what it means but i, I would assume i mean i i don't want to be wrong i would assume your net worth is higher than two million. yeah two million yeah yeah how does it feel to have 
money coming from you know sleeping on air mat for sure show sibling um it's crazy like i can i'm still getting used to it like i'm kind of i'm used to it but like when i look at old shit i'm like damn i really used to be like this and now life like this mm. so it's amazing are you are you enjoying it like what are your favorite parts about having money that i can really get up and do whatever i want to do whenever i want to do it mm. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's the best part of that. Man, I need that right there. I need that. Just the freedom to be like, you know what? Like, they just had a hurricane in uh, Florida, in Tampa, Florida, just yesterday. If I was in Tampa, Florida, I'd be like, we're going to Paris. We're going to Puerto Rico. We're going to Cali. We're going to wherever, bro. Like, going to Japan, going to Tokyo. Just for a couple of days to, man, if I had money, I'd pr probably waste it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'd probably just waste it. <laughs> On random trips to, you know what I mean? I'm going to need an uh, accountant. Do you have purchases that you'll still feel guilty about making? Or like, you just be like, you know, fuck it, swipe, swipe. Fuck. Yeah, no, I'm cheap as fuck. <laughs> I'm cheap as hell. Oh, God. Right. That's one thing, man. It's like what Dr. Dre said. He was like, getting it is easy. But the hardest part is keeping it. That's the hardest part. But sometimes I, people be like, what you holding it for? You can't take it with you. Blase, yeah. blase. But I'm like, you know what? You're right. But I'm still cheap as hell. Are you cheap as in like you go to the store and like if you want a burger, but the bacon is like an extra $2. You'd be like, all right, never mind. No bacon. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't eat pork, but yeah. But like just as an example, mm -hmm. like if something is like an Yeah, yeah, $2, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, they be ODing when it comes to that. Like, I do that right now. If I'm buying something, oh my, especially with food. If you go buy food and the burger is like whatever, eight dollars, and then but you want bacon on it or cheese, you want to charge me three dollars for cheese? You want to charge me three dollars for bacon? Like, I understand like you gotta make profit, but like I could eat that at home, bro. Like three dollars is a whole pack of bacon. Depending on what bacon you get, anywhere between three and six dollars. You can get 24 pieces of bacon, and you're going to charge me, like, a quarter of that for two? For two pieces, bro? And, yo, God, yo, God forbid the bacon doesn't even taste good, and it's well done, and they, they overcooked the bacon. Oh. <laughs> no. No. That's a nightmare, bro. I, I hate stuff like that. Don't charge me. Yo, know, sometimes when I go to, like, a fast food place, the burger be $8. But then they're gonna charge me another four dollars for like fries and the three dollars for drink, and it's like, just give me the burger, bro, because the fries are not even that many. This is a small fry, and I got bottles of water in my car. I don't need the drink. I don't need the French fry. Please, just give me the burger, cause that's what I really actually want. But they always OD like overcharging for um. For sides, I'd be like, bro, it's a side, bro. Like it shouldn't, it shouldn't be two dollars less than the than the entree. You know what I'm saying? Like sides should be like two dollars, yo. I feel like that's too much. It was something recent that just happened like that. I forgot what it was, but they were like, you can get this. It's gonna be this with it. I'm like, fuck it, I don't want it. Just give me the regular shit. <laughs> was it a big price jump, or it was just like a couple dollars? What was it? I can't remember. It probably. I think it was like a big price jump, like maybe like something like fifty dollars. And he was like, "Fuck it, yeah. I ain't getting it." Mm -hmm. um, you got the key to the city in Memphis. Yeah. What's that like? Is there any like perks to that, or is it just like getting a plaque, just like any other award would be? Yeah, basically. It's just like any other. Like you don't get anything for that. Nah, do you? like like you don't really like unlock no doors with it or nothing. No, not like that, <laughs> obviously. Well yeah. I don't know, like may, I don't know, maybe, you know, you don't have to I don't know. Maybe you can get all out of some extra like parking tickets or like maybe you'll get like a discount on this. Like No, I was trying to figure mm -hmm. it out, but mm -hmm. I don't think it, it, it go like that. I you don't, don't get think. anything. Yeah, I don't think so. It's just like an award and then that's it. Yeah. Man. Basically. They should work something out. That way you get some sort of benefit. Like you have the key to the city of Memphis and now in Memphis you get to do You get twenty percent off <laughs> everything you buy. Yeah, you should get at least one get out of jail free card every year with the key. Yeah, or something like that, ain't it? Yeah. I need to talk to them. Yeah, go talk to the man yeah. out there. Maybe y'all can work something out. 
Or right here, I got uh, three statements that you have said that I just want to ask you, like what you had meant when you said them. Okay. Okay. So the first one was recently. You said, "As a man, why is your <laughs> mouth smart?" <laughs> What you had meant by that? Like, what what you had meant when you said that? Because I was ask, actually texting somebody, and they, like, it's one person well, that I was talking to, and they just always got some small mouth shit to say, and it'd be like some shit that I should say to them. Like, <laughs> why your mouth small? Like, what's up? What were they saying? What the fuck he said? <sighs> what the, what did he say? He just, he just got, a, like, a sleek mouth. It's small. Like, everything he say, like, got some type of, like sass to it. Like, mm -hmm. why are you talking like this? I'm the girl. So you feel like men shouldn't be sassy like that. Like that's not for us to do. I mean, she let me do this. Right, right. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, the second thing you said was. Yeah, some dudes be coming in with the 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 neck turning and the the pointing the finger and like, bro, what the. Why are you reacting like that? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Uh, it was on an episode of The Shop. You said, people say money can't buy happiness. Shit. <laughs> and now that clip is going crazy on TikTok. Uh, it is? Yeah, you didn't know that? Uh -uh. Yeah, it's going crazy on TikTok. <laughs> um, what did you mean when you said that? Do you think money can buy happiness? Or can it buy happiness for you? Uh, for the most part, I feel like, because money can't solve all your problems. Most of them, they can't, though. Mm. It's hard to think of a problem that couldn't be solved. Exactly. With, with some bread. You know, yeah. unless it's on some love shit. Right. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, like when you had no appetite off that heartbreak, nah, money probably shit. wouldn't have helped you. Mmm. I like I like how you did that. That was nice. That was that was nice. What what could money have done? She like, put me outside with all the other niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah. All right, last one. When you had said and it's a classic now, but at the end of the day, the day got to end. Mm. What did you have meant when you said that? Because, like, when 12 a.m. come, what happened? It's a fresh day. like Exactly. <laughs> 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 like, where did this come from? I, you know, I never heard somebody say that. That is, yo, that's really profound, though. At the end of the day, the day got to end, bro. That is... You can put down a t-shirt, you can put down a mug, you can put that on a hoodie. You can tattoo that crap on your neck. That's it's valid. That's what it is. It's valid. But you said it. Because, like, sometimes you probably get so consumed by what the heck is happening right now within the hour. Whether it's a, well, you know, if it's, like, a really bad thing and you just be like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? But, look, tomorrow's another day. That's what basically what that what that means. It's just like tomorrow's another day, bro. Like, let's just squash it. The day got to end, bro. So let it end, and then we'll start again tomorrow. Make, you didn't make that up. I actually didn't make that up. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know where I saw this shit, but they was like, um, they was like, yeah, you know, I saw a post. They said crackheads be giving out the best advice. One of them just walked up to me and said, "It's the end of the day to take out of hand." I'm like, wow. Why wow. else? So I just started saying it. So you got one of your now most famous quotes from a crackhead or something? <laughs> yeah. Shout, there's a crackhead out there somewhere, probably sick. Sick. <laughs> Word. But it seems like a, a phrase that you can use whenever you just want to not answer a question. Yeah. You can just say it. It's just like it is what it is, like one of them type of quotes. What, how often are you using that phrase at the end of the day that they got in? When people ask me some shit that I don't want to answer. <laughs> or like if some shit come up and like, just fuck it at the end of the day, they got in. Beautiful. Yep. I'm about to start using that. For real? I, of course. It's a beautiful <laughs> line. I'm definitely going to start. But people say it on Twitter and, and TikTok all the time. I'll be seeing it now. For real? But we all saw you say it first, so. Even this though there was a cracker who said it first, you just take the credit. <laughs> Even though it was a yeah. Just act like you said it, and you'll yeah. take the credit. Uh huh. Uh, before this ends, uh, your new album, or is it? It's your debut album? Mm hmm Because you've had some mixtapes and EPs, I guess, but this is your debut album. Yeah. Uh, what can people expect from it? Um, a solid ass project. Like I'm uh, t touching different subjects on there. Like it's like every song I'm rapping about something different, almost like. Everything got it. It got a. It got substance to it. Mm. So, 
Yeah, I'm excited. I got some pretty cool features on there. Yeah, I'm excited. I heard a couple nice. that I thought were great. Yeah, uh, thank you. Do you feel like you have one of them ones on here? Do you have a Yeah Glow? Do you have a TGIF? Do you have a Tomorrow? To, is there a, a record on here that you feel like really is going to go? Well, TGIF is on there. But okay. Yeah, I feel, I ain't gonna lie, I love all the songs from top to bottom. Like, I feel like, I don't know which one they gonna take and run with. Because mm. I feel like all of them are great songs in different aspects. So, I feel like it's like one of them classic albums. Mm. Mm -hmm. And for it to be your debut, yeah. potentially a classic, that would be incredible. Mm -hmm. All right, lastly, uh, what can people expect from you? What else you got going on? What else is coming down the pipeline? Oh, a lot I can't speak on, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen a lot of big shit, you know, glorious shit. Hmm. A lot of glorious shit. Yeah. Well, That's here. fire. I appreciate you coming. Thank you for having me. Hey, man, that was W interview. W interview. That was nice. We liked that. That was beautiful. That was nice, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Appreciate y'all for watching this. Uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I ain't got nobody in this Twitch, so follow my Twitch, bro, at Matt from Queens. And I'm going to post this bad boy on YouTube so somebody can watch it sooner or later. All right. I'm out. Peace.